Hey guys, you're watching The Hungry Hand Gunner. I'm Nick and I'm going to showcase some products that were sent to me um, and made by an individual called Trung the Maker. Go check his channel out. There's going to be a link in the description as well as a link to his shop where he sells jewelry. Now we'll get to all that um, here in a little bit. <laughs> Guys know that I like my CP33 and all that good stuff. So he has made it very easy. To turn this thing into something that's a little bit more concealable. So um, we're gonna keep playing with it a little bit. This is one of my first times shooting it without a suppressor. Was traveling, can't take the suppressor across state lines, so it's at the gun shop um, for safekeeping, and I haven't picked it back up. So Several things here. We're going to finish off this mag and just have a good time. You guys know I like the cheek pistol thing. Shout out to Rhett Newmare. There'll be a link to his channel, Demonstrated Concepts, down in the description. He's the one that came up with this monstrosity. And there we go. So let's go over some of what uh, he's got going on here with his parts kit that he made for the CP33. I think this is really cool. And if you want to cheek pistol the CP33. These are some cool parts to have for sure. All right, so first and foremost, this is on a little single point sling <clears throat> that I had laying around. I don't know why I never use these things. Um, but if you wanted to, you could see the, I guess, way of doing that. But moving on here. So what we have here is a two piece setup um, on, that just kind of clamps around the rear of the gun here uh, and gives you a nice platform to put your cheek on. It's certainly more comfortable than putting it on the rail. So there is that. Now built into that, he had a QD spot for a sling, which is how this one was affixed. Now ordinarily when I'm shooting my CP33, I have the suppressor on there, so my hand never really gets near the muzzle because, you know, I've got another eight inches of whatever going out the front in there, but he has a hand stop. You do lose the front sight when you put this hand stop here. However, you're already gonna lose the rear sight anyway uh, by putting this piece on, so it's not really a big deal, at least it wasn't to me. The other thing is if you're using it as a cheek pistol, you're not gonna be able to, to use those iron sights anyway. So not a huge deal. The other thing that he included is this brass deflector right here that just goes on across the rail uh, so that you could use this left-handed, uh, which we are going to try here in just a second. If you have a CP33, chances are your CP33 is much like mine in that it really slings brass. Um, if people are standing further down, uh, they can probably attest to that. So we're gonna load up another mag and I'm gonna try it left-handed and hopefully this works. I'll have iPro if it doesn't, but you guys are seeing it first. This is my first time playing with this. So very cool indeed. I love seeing innovation. Like I said, he makes this, he, he 3D printed it. Uh, very solid. It seems like I'm just amazed by how much more comfortable this is than putting my cheek on the rail. I guess this is also an update video of sorts because the last time you guys heard from me about my CP33, it had gone back to Keltec. The slide stop slide release was in fact broken. They replaced that. They did a bunch of other stuff to it. Uh, polished some stuff, replaced the bolt face, all that good stuff. Uh, it's running much better now. So with all that being said, let's load up another mag and we'll try the cheek pistol left-handed thanks to Trung's brass deflector. All right, so we're gonna have some more fun out here plinking around with the CP33, doing the cheek pistol thing left-handed. Um, got my iPro on. These are not just sunglasses, they are actual iPro for those that wonder and think I'm rude because I leave my sunglasses on. Some jack wagon said that. You can't talk to the camera with your sunglasses on, you're in the woods. And there's my eye protection too, and I shoot, so. Yeah, anyway, let's try this left-handed, see what we get. First time doing this, so bear with me here. Malfunction. Could be ammo related, I'm using really crappy, uh, Winchester 22. This gun is not a big fan of it. Yeah, it didn't even pick one up there. 
we'll see. Could be the way I'm holding it too. You just never know. All right, give it another go here. Let's reach further out. Bit of a stove pipe situation. Yeah, so it's not the way I'm holding the gun. Um, this ammo is, is really not agreeing with this thing. I should have brought some different stuff out, but alas, I did not, because um, I haven't learned yet, apparently. I just want to make sure it wasn't the way I was holding it. It doesn't seem to be. I haven't eaten any brass yet, so there is that. So, left hand is not my preferred way to do it. It is kind of gassy. But if you are left-handed, or if you had to go to that, um, now you have an option. So, we got some more here, yeah. We'll play around a little bit, because why not? Get to load mags and clean anyway when I'm done. We'll move the camera so you guys can kind of see what we're doing here. So I know people are going to say, well, the cheek pistol thing looks dumb. Yep, it, sure, I'll give it that. Um, we're shooting that further steel silhouette, which I can hit this way. Takes me a little bit longer to get on target. I have a lot more stability doing the cheek thing. If the gun will run, reliably, that is. And we're empty. So, to me, not to rehash the cheek pistol thing, but I think it does have merits. Uh, and it is a really cool system that Rec came up with. So I think it's really, really cool, number one, that Trung came up with these parts. I don't know much about 3D printing. Um, it's all kind of overwhelming to me. I'm trying to understand and learn about it and whatnot. But the fact that he designed these parts, they work. Um, they actually do improve the experience of using this as a cheek pistol. Uh, that innovation, that kind of... Um, here's a new concept here's a way to do that better uh, I really like that and I, again he sent this out to me for free uh, to demo for you guys and I hate that it's taking me this long I had it a couple weeks ago and just haven't had the chance to get out here and play so uh, very cool there I like that he incorporated the QD spot for a sling if that's your thing that is cool uh, for sure but this is absolutely way more comfortable um, in my opinion the hand stop great idea again normally shoot this suppressed hence the the muzzle brake that's on there um, brass deflector is absolute must in my opinion uh, I'm gonna shoot it some more and see you know just kind of um, how it's kicking the brass if that's gonna make it a more pleasant experience for uh, other shooters you know online with me or whatever um, when we're out having a good time but I think that if you want to be able to use this thing left-handed as a cheek pistol I think that's pretty much a must so very cool there um, an absolute fun gun. It's a little bit ammo sensitive. I'm not ready to give you the full review yet. Um, absolutely a ball to play with. I just wish it was a little bit more accepting of different ammo. So I understand CP, competition pistol, uh, is what Caltech was going for. But um, for me, it's pretty much a varmint gun. Um, it has one squirrel kill. So there is that. <laughs> Again, huge thank you to Trung for sending that out, man. I appreciate it. There's going to be links to his stuff down in the description. Please go check him out. As well as Rhett Newmare. He deserves a lot of credit, I think, for coming up with that awesome way of shooting. Um, that's cool. It saved me at least 300 bucks um, from putting a brace on this. There's, there's no reason to for me if I can do what I'm trying to do like that. So, um, not for everybody. Very niche application, I'm sure. For what I do out here, it works very well, though. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my credits uh, for my patrons and channel members. These guys rock. They make it a lot easier for me to get out here and do content. Truly, thank you guys.
Everybody else, stay safe. Keep shooting if you can. Cheek pistol is, is pretty cool. Way off with your thoughts down in the comments. Again, go check out Trung. Go check out Rhett. And I'll see you guys next time.